You're going to love this. Trust me. What's up, Dragon Ball Junkies? It's your boy Josh, bringing you another Dragon Ball Supercard Game video. Today, we're going back to the Dragon Ball Supercard Game Facebook page to go through some more Cross Spirit reveals. Today, we got the yellow cards, and there's a lot to go through, a lot of crazy stuff. I'm kind of excited, so we're going to take a look at these yellow cards. I'll give you my first impressions, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Check it out. All right, guys, here we are at the Dragon Ball Super Card Game Facebook page where they show us all the reveals and all the new stuff coming out. We got a lot of yellow cards to go through, so I'm just going to burn through these, okay? <clears throat> First off, they're saying this might be like the new Vegex type thing. Vegex might be getting hit, but we got Sun Goku for yellow. This is a Sun Goku GT. When this card attacks, draw one card. If you have two more energy, when a yellow battle card is removed, Revealed from the top of your deck, placed in your drop area, and and played by that card skill, you may flip this card over. If you do, draw one card, switch up one of your energy to active mode, then add cards from your life to your hand until you have five life left. So you can awaken really early just by doing that skill. Nice. Okay, and then awaken when your life is at four or less. You may draw two cards and flip this card over. 10k leader, of course. Oops. Going this way. On his Waken side, SS4, Son Goku returned from hell. That looks pretty sick. When this card attacks, draw two cards. Choose one card from your hand and place it on top of your deck. When this card gets plus 5,000 for the battle. Activate main. Add up to one Andrew, Android 18 Defender of Heroes from your deck to your hand. Shuffle your deck, then choose one card in your hand and place it on top of your deck. Negate the skill for the game. Okay, so you can only... That's like a one-time thing. Activate main once per turn spirit boost one Reveal the top card of your deck and place it in your drop area. All right, we're gonna look for this Android 18 Defender of heroes. We're gonna find that card All right, then we got new super 17 leader. Oh boy super 17 It's yellow the old one is green and I love the old ones one of the first leaders. I ever I ever liked um, auto Choose one Android card in your hand and discard it. When this card attacks, draw two cards. That's like uh, Android 16, the blue one. I don't really like that. Um, but it is what it is. Helps you cycle. Um, awaken when your life is at four or less. Or you have a yellow unison card with a specified cost of two in play. You may draw one card. Switch over one of your energy to active mode. Add cards from your life to your hand until you have six life left. Then flip this card over. On his awaken side, Super 17, Emissary of Hell. <clears throat> Auto, when this card attacks, draw one card, and this card gets plus 2,000 power for the battle for each card placed under your battle cards. For each card placed under your battle cards. Interesting. Activate man once per turn. Choose one Super 17 card in your battle area. Place up to one Hellfighter 17 or Android 17 card from your drop area under the chosen card. So once per turn, you can place cards under cards, and then this boosts up him. All right. Activate battle once per turn. Spirit boost one. Choose one Super 17 card in your battle area. Place three cards under it. Oh, in the owner's drop areas. Choose up to one each of your opponent's battle cards and unison cards and switch them to rest mode. So you tap a re tap a battle card and tap a unison card by removing cards that you place under your other cards. Interesting. All right. And then Android 18, Defender of Heroes. There she is. That's our unison, it, but it's specified one, which is odd because our leader is... Wasn't our leader looking for specified two? Yep. Uh, to awaken, specify cost of two. So this won't help us awaken our leader. That's odd. Auto once per turn, when you remove a marker from this card, you use spirit boost skill. Choose it to one of your opponent's battle cards and switch it to rest mode. Activate main plus two. Look at the three cards on the top of your deck and place them on top of your deck in any order. That's pretty cool. Helps you uh, scry and, and and decide how your turn's going to go. Or your turns are going to go and your draws, how your draws are going to go. Activate main minus two, draw three cards, then choose two cards in your hand and place them on top of your deck in any order. So a lot of, uh, kind of like T.O.P. with Invoker, uh, let you, let you arrange your cards. Anyway, here's our two costs. Android 20 and Dr. Mew Hellish accomplishes, accomplices. This is a two cost specified unison auto once per turn. If it's your turn, when this card activates and 
when you activate an evolve or union skill add a marker to this card auto once per turn if it's your turn when you remove a marker from this card using the spirit boost skill choose it to one of your opponent's battle cards and rest mode ignoring barrier and ko it i like that that's good uh activate main plus one draw one card then choose one card in your hand and discard it activate main minus two add up to one mono yellow battle card with energy cost of five or less and evolve skill from your drop area to your hand it's 15k two specified yellow unison Ooh, this card is going to be good okay eight costs four specified yellow sun goku return of the dragon fist 10k one cost combo power deflect double strike 25k auto when this card is played choose up to two of your opponent's battle cards in rest mode and ko them nice activate name for three if you have four more energy and a yellow unison card in play play this card from your hand so you cheat them out for three but you have to have four energy um maybe if you did like some blue yellow ramp action that could be pretty interesting activate man once per turn spirit boost two if you're so you got to take two markers off your unison if your leader card is a mono yellow this card gains dual attack for the turn double strike dual attack nice and your opponent can't activate skills on battle cards with original energy cost of seven or less from any area when this card is in a battle pretty 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 good really good and then we got a one cost trunks the brawler if your leader card is yellow when this card is revealed from the top of your deck and placed in your drop area you must play you may play this card from your drop area so that works with that goku gt um skill auto when this card is played draw one card then choose one card in your hand and place it on top of your deck okay activate main once per turn spirit boost one if your leader card is a yellow sun goku gt card reveal the top card of your deck and place it in your drop area Okay, and then we have a Piccolo, the gate opener, four costs, one specified yellow. If your leader card is yellow, when you take damage from an opponent's non-keyword skill, like any burn damage, you may play this card from your hand. If you do, add one card from the top of your deck to your life. You can't activate the auto skill on copies of this card for the game. Nice. So we also get one of these for blue. They may be giving us one of these for each color. It basically stops uh, stops you from taking damage from burn damage. Um, and then not only does it stop you from taking that damage, but you also get to rejuvenate your life, which is a very rare thing in this game. Um, we did we did get a, a skill to do that. It wasn't very utilized. Isn't it called rejuvenate? Yeah. So, uh, but this seems pretty cool, and I think we might get one for every color. Two cost Krillin the Brawler, two specified yellow. This is our super combo. If your leader card is yellow and your life is at four or less, when this card is used in a combo from your hand, draw one card, and this card gets plus 10,000 combo power for the battle. Auto limit one. If your leader card is yellow and you choose one yellow unison card, when you remove a marker from one of your unison cards using a spirit boost skill, you may play this card from your hand under the chosen card. If you do, add a marker to the chosen card, then draw one card. So, this is something that these are the new um, super combos for this set. So what we're seeing is that you can instead of using your super combo for plus 10 and draw one, which is usually what you always will be using a super combo for, you can instead. Uh, once per turn limit one, you could use your super combo when you do a spirit boost to basically not lose the marker and draw a card. So when your unison uses a spirit boost, they lose a marker. Then you place this under the um, unison. Uh, yeah, you place this under the unison. You get to draw a card. Oh, but you don't gain a mark. Yeah, yeah, add a marker. Yeah, add a marker. So, so you lose the marker to spirit boost. You get the marker back, and you draw a card. So you can now use your super combos. They have like dual, dual purposes, or you know a new thing that they didn't have before then we have android 17 thwarting the enemy this is for the new hellfighter i'm pretty excited about this this is probably what i'll be building for yellow just to test um is uh is the android 17 stuff instead of the go the goku gt stuff may be better and, and it's probably going to be the more um more meta route to go but i'm just more interested in in the android 7 in the super 17 stuff so i'll probably build that and just test it out uh, for blue i'll build a rudigarn for black i've already built sin and i will be playing some sin games and putting the episodes 
Senzino games and putting them up. Anyway, Android 17, thwarting the enemy one cost counterattack. Limit one, if your leader card is yellow, negate the attack, then play this card in rest mode. If you negated the leader card's attack with this skill, your opponent can't attack with their leader card for the turn. Permanent, you can activate this card's counter skill from your hand without paying its energy cost by paying the cost for two spirit boost two instead. So you, you can play it for free, free negate if you take two markers off your unison. That's kind of expensive though. I don't... I don't know if I'm going to be taking two markers off my unison to, to negate an attack. There's so many free negates. Uh, then we have Super 17 Powers Combined. 8 cost, 4 specified red. Deflect, triple strike. Nice. EX Evolve for 2. If you have 4 more energy, Mono Yellow Super 17 cost with energy cost of 5. Activate main once per turn. Place 3 cards under this card in their owner's drop areas. Switch this card and up to 1 of your Super 17 leader cards to active mode. Then choose up to 1 of your opponent's... So that also works. So I'm thinking this stuff also works with green super 17. Most I haven't seen anything that has says has to be mono super 17. So we could still do green yellow, green yellow super 17 with the green leader because I, I feel like maybe the green leader might be better. Who knows? Uh, in active mode, then choose up to one. That's awesome if your leader's crit. Uh, Choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and rest mode to place it under this card. This card gets plus 10,000 power for the turn for each for each energy cost in the battle cards placed under it. This card gets plus 10,000 power for the turn for each energy cost in the battle cards placed under it. 1,000 power. Okay. Because he's going to have a lot of cards under him. Nice. All right. We have a lot of yellow cards to go through, guys. That is not all. Here we go. We got some more here. We got four costs, three specified yellow. SS4 Sun Goku the Brawler. Deflect Double Strike. If your leader card is yellow, when this card is revealed from oh, and for one for one yellow energy, so it's not free. When this card is real, revealed from the top of your deck and placed in your drop area, you may play this card from your drop area. So yeah, that's why they're saying it's similar to Vajax, but these actually have a cost on them. Um, so they're not as broken as Vajex, but I, I kind of see what why people are saying that. But at the same time, it's it's very different. Um, auto, when this card is played, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards in rest mode and KO it. Nice. Like that. Yeah, I think the GT Goku is going to be the stronger of the of the yellow. Between the Android Super 17 and the GT Goku, I think the GT Goku is going to be stronger. Um... But I, I just want to play the Super 17. I don't play a lot of yellow much, except for Sin. Uh, blocker, one yellow. If your leader card is yellow, when this card is revealed from the top of your deck and placed in your drop area, you may play this card from your drop area. Auto, when this card is played, draw one card and place up the one card from your hand on the top of your deck. Then choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and switch to rest mode. So see, they all let you, you draw a card, but then you put one on top. You make sure it's the right one. Uh, that way, when your leader does his thing, you get all the bonus effects. You get to play the card. You get to draw cards, etc., etc. We got Sun Gohan the Brawler. He's a one cost blocker. 4K. If your leader card is yellow, when this card is revealed from the top of your deck and placed in your drop area, you may play this card from your drop area. Yes. Yeah, so see, if you needed a blocker, you put him on top, you do your thing, and you, and you get your blocker out. Okay. We have a one cost Sun Goten the Brawler. SS Sun Goten the Brawler. When this card is played, look up five cards from the top of your deck, add up the one yellow sand card with energy cost of four less, or one yellow unison card, specified five cost one among them to your hand that shelf your deck this is the searcher for the gt goku deck uh activate main if your leader card is yellow sun goku gt card with 10,000 power and you discard this card from your hand reveal the top card of your deck and place it in your drop area again this is uh more this is going to play cards out uh because it, the top card of your deck is something that plays when you reveal it and send it your drop area then you get to play it Nice. Okay. Pan the Brawler. Two cost blocker. Auto limit one. If your leader card is a yellow Sun Goku GT card and your opponent has two or more energy when this card is revealed from the top of your deck and placed in your drop area, play it from your drop area. Then you may have your leader card gain critical for the turn. Ooh. So this gives this leader critical for the turn. So you wouldn't want to run this in the green Super 17 because he already gets, well, he has critical with sparking. But Vegeta the Brawler is a counter attack. One cost. Yellow. Counterattack, negate the attack and play this card. Pretty simple. Auto if your leader card is yellow, Sun Goku GT. When this card is played, reveal the top card of your deck and place it in your drop area. Again, we're getting more ways to reveal and place in drop areas the top card of our deck, which lets them play. Good. 
uh, two cost Great Sandman, uh, Vanilla, Great Sandman 2. Two cost, two specified yellow, 20k Vanilla. It's a new yellow Vanilla. One cost Yellow, Watchman Strike, Counterattack, Negate the Attack, then choose up two, to two of your opponent's tokens and switch them to Rest Mode. This card's skill can't be negated in any area. Probably only a um, side deck card if tokens are very prevalent in the meta. Zero cost, yellow, a trip to hell. That looks really cool. A trip to hell. That might be in the thumbnail. I like that card. Okay. Activate main for one yellow. If your leader card is a yellow Sun Goku GT card, draw two cards. Choose one card in your hand and place it on top of your deck. Then reveal the top card of your deck and place it in your drop area. Okay. Activate main, limit one. If your leader card is a yellow, so you could do this one for one. This one you could do for free because it's a zero cost. Activate main limit one if your leader card is a yellow Sun Goku GT card and you have three or more energy, reveal the top card of your deck and place it in your drop area. So just a free way to get um, once you have three energy, you know, maybe if it's slow, things are slowing down, you don't have what you need. You can use this for free to get out something on top of your deck. Two costs, Android 17 Mechanical Clarity, two specified yellow is our super combo for our Android. Uh, if your leader card is yellow and your life is at four or less, when this card is using a combo, draw one card. Simple, simple, old school, simple. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. SS4 Sun Goku the Brawler. Oh, we're back to the beginning. All right. I think we got one. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we only have one more group of them to go through. So let me burn through these. We got a Vanilla Vegeta. One cost, 10K yellow. Vanilla Vegeta GT. We got a one cost Android 17 conceding to Union. Interesting name. <laughs> Barrier, Union Absorb once per turn. If your leader card is a Super 17 card and you choose one Hellfighter 17 card in your hand or drop area and place it under this card, play up to one Mono Yellow Super 17 card with an energy cost of three from your deck or drop area on top of this card, then shuffle your deck if you look through it. And play up to one Mono Yellow Super 17 card. So you can, he plays the Mono Yellow, but notice. Uh, you choose one Hellfighter 17. It doesn't say yellow Hellfighter 17. So you could use the green Hellfighter 17 line in this. I'm thinking green yellow is going to be the way to go uh, with this deck. And then, you know, also you have Cell Zeno, uh, Secret Rare, probably the probably the best route, which I'm never going to own. I ain't buying that. I think it's expensive, but, <laughs> but interesting. Okay, that kind of helps now we're seeing our hellfighter line we got one cost hellfighter 17 conceding to union blocker union absorb once per turn if your leader card is a super 17 card and you choose one android 17 card in your hand or drop area and place it under this card play up to now see android 17 this one hellfighter 17 so you always got to pay attention to the hellfighter 17 and android 17 because you'll notice this is an android 17 this is a hellfighter 17 they are different um you have to make sure you don't screw that up. When I first built Android 17 long time ago, Super 17 Green, I uh, I messed that up a little bit when I first built it. But I was learning. I had just started the game. That was set five when I just started. But if your leader card is Super 17, uh, place it under this card. Play up to one mono yellow Super 17 card with an energy cost of three from your deck or drop area on top of this card. Then shuffle your deck if you look through it. So both of these are enablers for a three drop. Where's our three drop at though? Uh, this is probably our searcher. Yep, one cost, Hellfighter 17, Mechanical Clarity. This is a Hellfighter 17. When this card is played, look at the five cards from the top of your deck. Add up to one Mono Yellow Android card with energy cost of five or less, or one Mono Yellow Unison card with specified cost of two among them to your hand, then shuffle your deck. Cool. Here's a five cost, Super 17, Hellish Amalgamation. This is a Super 17, not a Hellfighter or an Android 17. Deflect Dual Attack. EX Evolve 19k. EX Evolve for one yellow. If your leader card is a Super 17 card, mono yellow EX Evolve onto a mono yellow Super 17 card with energy cost of three. So, where's the three cost at, though? Is what I'm wondering. Auto, when this card is played, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards with energy cost of four or less in rest mode. Place it under this card, then draw one card. I like that. Auto, when this card is KO'd by an opponent's skill, play up to one mono yellow Super 17 card with energy cost of three from your drop area. Nice. So, even if they kill him, you get your three cost back out again. So, you can get this guy out for just one more energy. 
Here's a three cost Super 17 prepping for Union. That's just a common. That looks sick. That looks really good. They could have made that a super rare. Barrier. When this card is played using Union, draw one card. Nice. So and it has barrier. So you you'd play the Union on your one cost, get this guy out, and then go into the five cost. Activate main limit one, and you get to draw when you get him out. If your leader card is a Super 17 card and you choose this card and an Android card in your hand and discard them, look it up to seven cards from the top of your deck, add up to two yellow Android cards with energy costs of five or less among them to your hand, then shuffle your deck. Interesting. Interesting. And then we got a one cost Dr. Mew returned from the beyond. One cost specified yellow, 4K. Activate main once per turn from one yellow. Play up to one yellow Hellfighter 17 cost with an energy cost of Hellfighter 17 card with an energy cost of one from your deck or drop area. Then shuffle your deck if you look for it. Nice. So it's just uh, an enabler to get our 17s out for one energy if you play them any sticks. Uh, one cost super rare. Super rare extra card for yellow. Opening the gates of hell. That's it. Counterplay. Spirit boost one. Choose all battle cards and unison cards being played with few three or fewer markers and switch them to rest mode. All battle cards and unison cards being played with three or fewer markers and switch them to rest mode. Then draw one card. This card is broken. This is a cold bloodlust. It costs one yellow energy. And you just got to take one marker off your unison. So you could... Yeah, you got to have a marker on your unison, which uh, makes it... More situational. If you don't have a unison on field and you pay the one, nothing happens with this. So you need to be able to do that spirit boost. But you draw a card. You rest everything when it comes out. Um, it won't get around barrier. Or it won't get around deflect or barrier. Uh, deflect or barrier both stop this. Anyway, we got a one cost awakened attack permanent. You can activate the activate battle skill on this card from your hand without paying its energy cost by placing one card from under one of your battle cards in its owner's drop area. We'll have plenty of those with this deck. Activate battle limit one. If your leader card is a yellow super 17 card, choose up to one of your leader cards or battle cards and it gets plus 2000 power for the battle for each card under your battle cards. And if you have three or more cards under your battle cards, it gains double strike for the battle. That's pretty good. Actually seems kind of cool. It's an extra card. Is it activate battle? Yeah. So activate battle, you'd activate for free and give something a, you know, if you have a bunch of cards under there, you might be giving something plus 10k and double strike. It's almost like a free Chompa for this deck. A free Chompa or a free Supreme Kai. Nice. Uh, two cost, two specified yellow of faded meaning. Activate main slash battle. This is a common. Draw one card, then choose up to one of your opponent's unison cards or battle cards with energy cost of four or less. Switch it to rest mode, and that card can't be switched to active mode for the turn. And that could be, that's an activate battle, so you could play it defensively on their turn. Interesting. All right, and that's it for the yellow cards, guys. We have gone through it, except for one. We got one more. I'm a little, I'm late on this. You know, the community already knows about this because uh, Bandai's, this secret rare, this set with the secret rares, they're doing like a like a tournament or like a streamers play a game and whoever wins gets to do the reveal. I think that's how it works. I haven't watched it. But anyway, we do have the new SCR, baby. Super 17, Sibling Absorb. The first SCR revealed for Cross Spears. This is our yellow SCR. And let's see what it says. This card is pretty cool right here. Ultimate. This is a secret rare. You can only it's an ultimate. You can only run one of it in your deck. Um there's three of these per case. Or two two of these. There's three in the set. There's two per case. So this will be a very rare card. Super 17, sibling absorbed. This is when Hellfighter 17 excuse me. Hell or Super 17 absorbs. And Super 17 is uh, uh Dr. Muse Android 17. And Dr. Rose Android 17 fused together, making Super 17. And then he absorbs Android 18, which is his sister. And he, he becomes this Super 17 sibling absorbed. Crazy. This is crazy heroes lore, Dragon Ball heroes lore for you. But it's fun. All right, let's read this card real quick. 
ultimate deflect critical counterplay and it's eight cost one specified yellow counter and it's a 40k oh my god counterplay play this card then choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards in rest mode ignoring barrier and place it under this card the played battle card has its skills negated for the turn so you they play a card you counterplay this the play the card they're playing has its skills negated for the turn you also get to choose another card uh that has to be in rest mode, which we have ways to rest our opponent's battle cards in yellow. Ignoring barrier. So even if it has barrier, if it's in rest mode, you get to steal it. Put it under, You don't steal it, but you put it under this card, which is pretty good. So you're stopping potentially... You're, you could be stopping a lot of damage. Um, or, yeah, it's, it's, it's very good, but... Permanent, if this card is removed from your battle area, removed from the game instead. They're doing that with a lot of secret rares now so that you can't recur them from the drop or anything like that. But it's other permanent, so you're like 8 cost for a counterplay. That's way too much. If your leader card and all of your energy are mono yellow, and your opponent has 3 or more energy, reduce the energy cost of this card in your hand by 7. So it becomes a 1 cost. 1 yellow energy. You gotta have mono yellow energy. You gotta have a yellow leader. And it has to be, your opponent has to have at least three or more energy. So turn three, this is live usually if you're mono yellow. And uh, it's a one cost counterplay, but it's also a critical 40k body. So it's, it's a good uh, good secret rare. So yeah, that's the secret rare, baby. That's it for the yellow cards. Well, everybody, that's it for the video. Hope you like seeing all the yellow cards that are coming out for Cross Spirits in the next Dragon Ball set. Let me know if you're going to be playing some Goku GT or a little bit of Super 17. Personally, I'm going to be going with Super 17. But tell me in the comments what you think will be best and what you want to play. And if you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet and you want to see more of this content, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell notification so you know whenever I make a new video. And last but not least... If you want to see live gameplay, if you want to see me, if you want to play against me on Untap or anything like that, check out my Twitch channel, Twitch TV slash Dragon Ball Junkie. And don't forget to click on these videos over in here that you see playing. It's your boy Josh, the Dragon Ball Junkie. I'm out. Peace.